In traditional Japanese culture, the bell ringing is called joya no kane, and kane means bell, joya means eliminating the night, bringing in light. And it's a purification ritual by which we want to purify all of the misdeeds that have accumulated over the past year. Buddhist temples will ring their temple bell during the last few hours on the 31st of the final day of the year. And it's rung 108 times because there are thought to be 108 human faults. It's just a very warm and joyful time where people can reflect on the past year and look forward to having a bright start to the new year. This is probably the only time when we allow people to actually touch the objects in the museum because of course we can't get the sound without striking the bell. The bell was cast in 1532, which means it's 482 years old. It's still in pretty good condition. We acquired the bell in 1984, and we've been ringing it every year since then. And we strike it at least 108 times for each ceremony, plus a few practice strikes. I encourage people to look closely at the bell and the inscriptions on it. From the inscriptions, we know who made it, when it was cast, for which temple. Well, the bell is very resonant and it doesn't require a very hard hit. What often will happen is people get very excited and they want to kind of whack the bell and make it, you know, a very a kind of aggressive ring. And that doesn't sound very good either. So there is this kind of variety of sound that will come from the bell, like any musical instrument, depending on how it's played. And if you're quiet and concentrate on listening to the sound, it will last a long time and really gets into you.